we see the battery? You know, we can't see the battery really on that. We don't, yeah, we're not going to be able to see it, so it'll work. Right, and it doesn't tell us the number anyway. Yeah, that's what we're after. We're at GIE 2015 looking at some of the cool products, and we're over at the steel booth right now, and we're looking at some of their battery-powered 36-volt chainsaws. And I have Marv here. Marv, we've got two different models here. Tell us a little bit more about these guys. Yeah, over on the left, we've got the MSA 160, and on the right, we got the MSA 200. MSA 200, a little bit more powerful, take a little bit longer bar length uh, than the MSA 160. Uh, you can run those off of an onboard battery. We've got a couple different onboard batteries available. Or you can run it off of a backpack battery and save the weight of the battery so that when you're holding that chainsaw, uh, you don't experience a lot of fatigue from the additional weight of the battery. So a couple different ways to run it. You see we've got the QCA, the quick chain adjust, available on the MSA 200. You just loosen that quick chain adjust, adjust the, uh, the knob up on top, the black knob, to tighten or loosen the chain as, as needed and exactly the same on that MSA 160 as well. So very, very homeowner friendly. So beyond that, I mean, the only thing I need to do is add a little bar oil and I'm good to go? A little bit of bar oil and make sure your battery is charged up and you're good to go. You're good to prune for probably 30-some, uh, 40-some, 50-some minutes. Yeah, that, we've got the 160. We've been working with that in the office. And that's a sweet little saw that can really cut a lot of wood. Absolutely. And that MSA 200 will actually cut a little bit more. It's a little bit more powerful and handle a little bit longer bar. Yeah, I've been very impressed with it so far in all of our tests. It's a really sweet <laughs> battery-powered saw that I think a lot of people are going to like to check out. If people would like to find it online, where can they go to check these out? I would have them go to steelusa.com uh, and check out the product, uh, product pages available there. That's Sounds great, Marv. We are at GIE 2015.